They say one of the most crucial things you can do when manifesting financial abundance is consciously prepare yourself for entering the unconscious state of sleep. By visualizing your manifestation goals right before you fall asleep, you'll be embedding them into your subconscious mind, which rules about 96% of our waking lives. So while you are still awake, you can set a clear and specific financial goal. For instance, you can write it on a post-it and post it to your bed frame or place it under your pillow. Be specific about the amount of money you want to manifest and when you want to manifest it by. This will help by telling the universe this is what you want to attract. Then as you prepare to fall asleep, you can use affirmations and you can repeat after me. I am worthy of abundance. I am worthy of abundance. And money flows easily and effortlessly into my life. Money flows easily and effortlessly into my life. In this video, I will give you the ultimate money guide and path that you can follow. And if you happen to fall asleep, Trust your subconscious is manifesting multiple millions of dollars. It's not a secret anymore. Manifestation has increased in popularity by leaps and bounds. But what exactly is it? And how can you use it to call in more financial abundance? Well, the answer to that is simple. And no, it is not the law of attraction, but actually the law of action, which requires that you do something to manifest the things you want. And yes, it's that literal. In fact, this law states that you cannot manifest the things you want without taking action. Or better said, without putting your thoughts into action. Further, manifestation requires taking steps or actions towards the path of success. Though with both law of action and law of attraction, sometimes doing nothing is an action. Patience, that your financial freedom and abundance will come. So let's get into it. At one point in time, we've all thought about high ticket sales, whether buying a multi million dollar mansion or earning a commission from selling one, while probably at the same time doubting that you could ever find the time and patience to read, study, and pass the exam to actually obtain a real estate license to sell houses. Further, finding the time would be highly unlikely while juggling everyday life like social media, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and your hobby for video photography. Well, what if I told you you could take your social media life combined with your hobby for video photography and turn it into a high ticket real estate sales agency. However, starting out, technically, you won't be earning any commission on any real estate properties just yet. But because of course, your venture will start out as a real estate video photographer. However, I should mention that if you do decide to venture down this road, obtaining a real estate license later down the road wouldn't be such a bad thing and probably something you will want to do for yourself anyway later down the road. But back to point A. Starting out as a freelance real estate photographer and videographer will mean you will need your own equipment capable of producing high quality images and video. Generating leads of your own by checking popular real estate sites like for instance in Canada, MLS listing to see all the new commercial and residential listings that don't yet have any images could be a great place to start. 
then getting in contact with the listing agent or agency to see if you could be the one to photograph the location as well as provide a short video tour experience. When it comes to how much you can expect to get paid, most real estate photography companies start with a minimum base rate per size range. It goes from $130 to $180 for shooting properties up to a thousand square feet and $250 to $300 for properties 2000 to 3000 square feet and so forth. But this is just the start of your business. Generating your own leads and getting in contact with property listers could mean that you could create your own website, social media presence, and YouTube channel. And not only could this generate another stream of income from ad revenue once of course you build a big audience, but this could also generate potential buyers, linking your YouTube videos to your website. For instance, you could primarily focus on loft style apartments or commercial business fronts. However, because you don't actually have a realtor license to sell and transfer ownership of a property, you would need a connection to an actual real estate agent that does. In essence, you would be a third party collecting a referral commission from the actual commission that you could work out privately with your agent. In fact, why stop there? Earning commission on high ticket sales like property listings could mean tens of thousands of dollars even just for a referral fee that you collect, depending on how good your negotiation skills are of course. But this could mean that you could then afford to incorporate your business. Having the social media presence, your own website, your own photography equipment, and YouTube channel? and now money in your pocket to incorporate your business could mean that you could now hire that real estate agent to work for you for dealing with the paperwork while you generate the buyers and focus on your original hobby, which was video photography. There are plenty of different ways to make money with digital marketing. In fact, many people spend tens of thousands of dollars to earn a certificate in digital marketing every year to learn skills that include search engine optimization, pay-per-click management, e-commerce, content, and social media management, as well as skills that will teach you how to sell these services to clients. Now, don't get me wrong. Because I'm not about to continue this video by telling you that a certificate or a degree is useless. If your intent was to get a job that is, managing online and social media accounts for let's say a Fortune 500 company. But what I am going to say is, there is plenty of money you can make as a digital nomad or entrepreneur with a few tips I could teach you. First things first, some knowledge with Photoshop, basic video editing, Adobe Creative Cloud will definitely put you in the right track to be successful. However, not so necessary if you wanted to focus on simply content writing or copy editing. In fact, there are many freelance job opportunities for digital content writers. However, becoming your own social media manager slash entrepreneur will definitely call for some knowledge with Adobe Creative Cloud, Photoshop, or InDesign. But once that is out of the way, the world is your oyster. Affiliate marketing, graphic design, becoming a YouTuber and earning ad revenue, or even just focusing on an online e-commerce store. In fact, you could combine all of those things and become your own boss. And the sky would be the limit when it comes to how much money you could earn. So what is affiliate marketing? You've probably heard this term get thrown around a lot. 
And for good reason, because this is a way you can earn commission on someone else's product by simply posting a link to the product on your social media site, post, or YouTube video. Most companies nowadays offer affiliate programs, for instance, Amazon. But it is also easy to find these opportunities from other companies by simply Google searching affiliate programs and your favorite companies. For instance, if you have a travel blog website or a travel channel on YouTube, you can search affiliate programs from car rental services, Expedia, or even bookings.com. And all you'd have to do is post a link on your social media platform and every time someone clicks on that link and interacts with that company's service, you will get paid a percentage of the sales. Further, offering a percentage discount to your own followers by simply clicking on the link can help you build credibility with your own social presence and build an even bigger following. 